traveling faster than a bullet shot from a gun covering one mile every three seconds. We're gonna explain the possibility, the mind-boggling engineering, and the raw grit, determination to succeed as well as the massive cojones of the pilot of the Bloodhound SSC. Rewind the clock back to the 15th of October 1997 and Bloodhound's predecessor, Thrust SSC broke that land speed record and the speed of sound at 763 miles per hour with a shockwave that was felt around the world. That's an awesome achievement as engineering and human physiology were pushed to the max with the insane forces at work. After that triumphant achievement, lots of fist bumping and celebrating, it was back to the drawing board for the noble crew. Fast forward to today, 26 years later in the Bloodhound, land speed record car is the most advanced straight line racing car ever created. Designed to travel at over 1,000 miles per hour, it needs some very special features such as wheels made from aluminum hubs and titanium rims that need to survive 50,000 G-forces. Hybrid rocket engines generating hold on to your beer for this one. A total of 135,000 horsepower. Just to power that jet engine, it has a supercharged Jaguar V8 as a fuel pump. And it consumes one ton of fuel per run. The pilot slash driver for this Megatron is Andy Green and I am betting that his testicles weigh 50 pounds, are made out of solid brass, and when they clash, a lightning bolt just shoots out of his ass. Picture this. It's the early 20th century and the automobile is still in its awkward teenage years. Braces, pimples the size of bottle caps, and that underdeveloped and gangly physical frame. But some folks, well, they got a need for speed. The first land speed records were set by people like Carl Benz. Y'all know him, right? Mm -hmm. No, wait, my, my audience and me, we can't afford one of them cars, so you probably don't know him, but you will know another record holder by the name of Henry Ford Sr. He hit the speed of 91.37 miles per hour on January 12, 1904. Introducing Sir Malcolm Campbell, the original speed demon of the 1920s. He was just like the Vin Diesel of his time, but, but much sharper dressed. In 1924, he broke the 150 mile per hour barrier, which was seriously speedy back then. As the years went by, folks got tired of strapping bigger and multiple engines onto their car, so they decided instead to butcher up some jets and Gorilla Glue in some turbine engines instead. Right in that part got me uh, kind of misty-eyed because it was so beautiful. These jet-powered beasts would reach speeds that would make even the Roadrunner jealous. It's like Wiley e. Coyote turned his talents to land speed records. The 1960s brought us more than just bell bottoms and lava lamps. It brought us jet cars like the Spirit of America and the Green Monster, each able to blast up to speeds over 550 miles an hour. However, the actual sound barrier wasn't broken until October 15, 1997 by the jet-powered Thrust SSC, and that record, <laughs> it still stands today, 26 years later. But the same company that made the Thrust SSC well, they're the ones that made the Bloodhound. 1,000 miles per hour. That is a bold claim, but it's backed up by science. It's got both a Eurofighter Typhoon jet engine and rocket engines to propel it, generate ungodly thrust. So much that I'm betting that when it does hit that 1,000 miles an hour, the Vulcans are gonna come down and initiate first contact. Breaking the land speed record is about human innovation, engineering, and progress to move forward. And as we're moving towards the age of electrification, that's pretty exciting stuff that we're finally gonna have thousand plus horsepower cars to drive ourselves around every day. 
And the folks over at Bloodhound, they're, they're having a tough time raising some funds. They need about another 11 million. So perhaps I can reach a gajillionaire with this video and help them, you know, invest some. If not, I, I will give up my beloved for a short while and contribute those funds over on a GoFundMe or is it GoDaddy or is it OnlyFans? I don't know, it's one of them sites. But go ahead and click here and find out about that new Dodge Charger with a thousand plus horsepower. Dang gum.